Questions for Kevin? <clears throat> Mark here in the third row. Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Kevin, there was a play in the fourth quarter where the shot clock was running down on Steph and you were chasing him out to the three-point line and he decided to go way beyond the three-point line. Can you explain what you saw on that play and, and whether you thought he, he had a prayer of making that shot? Well, no matter where you are on the floor, especially past half court on their side, you, he always has a chance to make a miraculous shot. I mean, you saw that at the uh, end of the first half last game uh, where we made a gamble and he hit a shot for about, seemed like 35 feet out there. So, um, you know, I felt like it was well contested. Uh, we played 23 uh, and a half good seconds of uh, defense, and, you know, he turned around and hit a uh, – hit a moon ball. So it was uh, a well-contested shot. And what he hit, uh, I mean, he's 9 for 17 in the three-point line tonight. So it was uh, you know, a great night for him from the perimeter. You, you found yourself on him one-on-one -on -one a couple of times in the corner. What's it like to be on an island with Steph Curry when he's feeling it? Oh, it's tough. I mean, he, uh, you know, he's 11 for 26 from the floor, but nine, like I said, nine of 17 from a three-point line. So anytime he has it going from, from the three-point line, you have to try to uh, you know, make them shoot twos, make them shoot contested twos, and you know, do his best job. You can do the best job you can um, from the three-point line as well. So it's it is tough, really tough to guard. Uh, you know, Steph anywhere out there on the floor, but you know, he's he's just so good at get, finding himself open. In the center, third row. Hey, Kevin, uh, Ken Cruz, Eagle News. Um, the last time the Cleveland's lost um, at home was Game One of uh, against the Pacers for this. Uh, Postseason, how do you, how do you guys play so well at home, and how do you replicate that going into game three and four? I mean, it's a lot. I mean, home home court advantage is, uh, you know, can can be a real thing. I mean, you look at, you know, how good the Warriors are here at Oracle. I mean, it's the same for us at home. We feel like we feed off of our crowd. Um, you know, we really get up to to play at home, and you know, we know that come Wednesday we're we're going to have to be better. There's a couple of things that uh, you know, a couple of coverages that that we blew, a couple of mishaps that we had on the defensive end, a couple of lapses that we had on the offensive end when things got stagnant. So we just have to to be better. But I think you know, just going home and being in front of uh, our crowd for Game Three of the Finals will be huge for us. Joe in the uh, third row there on one. Third row on one. Joe Varden, Cleveland.com. Kevin, um, you guys have been down 0-2 before to them. Uh, you were down 0-2 uh, against the Celtics. Is it harder to be down 0-2 against the Warriors just because of just how good you have to be to beat them? Uh, I mean, it could be really tough, especially coming back here and, and, and playing in their arena. So we do have to make sure that uh, – you know, we really bring it in game three because, I mean, that's really the game right there. This is a team that you don't want to be down 0-3 against. We know that. But uh, I was mentioning in the locker room, I was talking about, you know, any time that, uh, you know, KD is really hitting shots and that such a high clip. He was 10 of 14 tonight for 26 points, and he was a plus 24 uh, and plus minus. So uh, they're very tough to stop when, when he's hitting shots and when he has it going. And, you know, a lot of people are going to talk about, you know, Steph's game and, uh, you know, Clay having 20 as well. But, you know, I thought KD was, uh, you know, the guy that really had it going tonight for them and was a difference maker. Is there a final question over here in the second row? Hi, Kevin. Uh, Bruce, Bruce McGowan with KCBS Radio San Francisco. Uh, you're coming off a concussion, and you've had two pretty good games. I know that the bottom line is winning, but how good do you feel about your contributions and how comfortable are you right now after these two games, the way you've been playing? Uh, I think still have to be better. Um, you know, I've had a number of shots, not only in game one, but in game two as well that I felt I should have knocked down. And then defensively, they're, they're the type of team, even there was times where they missed a shot as well. But, uh, you know, being a big and playing against this team and switching like we have been, just if you take that one, one second off or you stand up for that split second, they're so good at you know, cutting off the ball or finding themselves open in transition. So, um, you know, I, I know it's not just myself, but I expect a lot uh, of myself out there, and I know I have to be better come game three. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks.